This is 7 News Today in Florida. The family of the man who went overboard while on a Royal Caribbean cruise demanding answers from the cruise line this morning. The Coast Guard calling off the search yesterday. This morning, the attorney for the victim's husband is saying an altercation involving that man and members of the crew caused him to go overboard. Seven's Jessica Holly is live in downtown Miami with the story. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. There are two very different stories when it comes to what happened on that cruise ship, and one of those stories is especially ugly. This weekend, the attorney for the husband of the man who is missing had lots to say. Bernardo did not jump. Bernardo fell over. Cell phone video captures his final moments. 35-year-old Bernardo Alves clings to the side of the ship before falling into the dark and deadly ocean waters. Alves was on that cruise with his husband Eric, celebrating Eric's birthday. When their attorney says things on the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Seas got ugly. There were crew members that made anti-gay remarks as against this legally married gay couple, including saying things like high lipstick and repeatedly saying it over and over to them. Attorney Mike Winkleman says Bernardo got very upset, and after a night of drinking, there was an argument between him and Royal Caribbean staff members. The surviving husband, Eric, was not there at the time. He had gone back to the room to rest. But it's my understanding, and I'm looking forward to getting more information, but that, that there was a big altercation at the Solarium Bar on the Oasis of the Seas. Once back in the room with his husband, Husband, security shows up and Winkleman says there was another scuffle. There was an altercation in the room involving Royal Caribbean security. He fell overboard and Royal Caribbean was right there on the scene as he fell in. Royal Caribbean painting a very different picture stating crew members responded to a report of a domestic dispute on the couple's balcony. A statement to 7 News reads in part, our staff did not have a physical altercation with the guest and were unable to prevent his jumping from the stateroom balcony. That attorney says this man's family has begged the U.S. Coast Guard to continue the search, but that search was suspended yesterday. Reporting live in Miami, Jessica Hawley, today in Florida.